Welcome back to Kababayan Today. If you're just joining us, we just had an exclusive excerpt reading of the book In the Country. And we are very fortunate because we have with us the author of the book, Mia Alvar. Mia, welcome to Kababayan Today. Thank you, G. Thanks for having me. She is talking to us from New York City. And uh, let's talk about this. So, uh, Mia, Let's talk about your upbringing. I know you're Filipina American, but where did you primarily yeah. grow up? So I was born in the Philippines. My, my parents are both uh, born and raised in the Philippines. My mother's from Manila, my father from Davao. But um, I only lived there until I was six years old. Uh, my family at that point moved to Bahrain in the Middle East, where my father had found work. And we lived there in a sort of diverse expat community in the Middle East um, with a lot of Filipinos as well for about four years. And then my mother decided to go to graduate school here in New York. So we moved again, and this is where we ended up staying. Okay, so how, how many years have you been now in New York City? Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> uh, it's been 27 years. Wow, so you really are a New Yorker now. I am, yeah. I heard, I heard somebody say that the criteria was not being born in New York, but if you went to high school in New York, you can call yourself a New Yorker. So by that, by that measure, I, I, I'm definitely from New York uh, to some extent. Okay, so we know that uh, your book is primarily about OFWs or overseas Filipino workers. Let's talk about yes. why you wanted to write uh, an entire work of fiction on stories about OFWs. Well, these were uh, men and women that I had grown up around, you know, including my own father, um, a very close uncle, um, just a lot of people in my family and in my extended Filipino community had gone through this experience. And for that reason, it's been an obsession of mine for a long time to explore what that kind of migration does uh, to the relationship between spouses and siblings and parents and children. There's so much there that is fascinating to me, the idea that the best way to provide for the people you love is to be apart from them, you know, sometimes for years and decades at a time. And, you know, because I'm not a journalist or a sociologist, um, the best, the most interesting way I found for me to explore those questions was through fiction and storytelling. Okay. Well, we know that this book is very mainstream. You've been getting uh, a lot of accolades for your work. But I'm wondering, why should our own fellow Kababayans read this book in the country? <laughs> well, I think uh, on one level, on the, on the very sort of obvious surface level, I think that <clears throat> there are a lot of references that Kababayan will recognize and um, that might make them smile. So... The book is filled with, uh, you know, sari sari stores and karaoke parties and uh, food that, that will be very familiar to Kababayan and, and um, maybe be fun to see in, in a literary work. I think a couple, uh, what I would hope a Kababayan reader would get from the book is uh, the same, not too different from what I hope for any reader, which is to kind of have the opportunity to delve more deeply into the lives of people that um, that maybe uh, come in and out of, of your orbit, but, but, you, but that you don't consider in a, in a more intimate way. So the domestic workers who uh, take care of people's children, the, um, you know, the busboys and, and servers who, you know, um, make sure um, your food is prepared correctly. Um, you know, all, all, of, um, all of fiction, I think, is about expanding kind of empathy and your ability to identify with, um, with other people's lives. So because the Filipino community is so diverse in terms of um, class and, and interests and all of those things, I think that 
anyone could come to this book and find a new angle on, on the community, even if it is your own. Well, I have to say, Mia, I am a fan of your work. I've read it from cover to cover, and I want more, 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 more of your work. (laughs) (laughs) So we're wondering, is there a movie in the works? Mi película va? Oh, um, I wish, you know, I am definitely open to it. I I was just joking at a uh, a reading that I had done here in New York that, that if, if, if somebody had made a movie of some of these stories, I would want it to be a musical, and uh, and I would want Leia Salonga to sing the songs. But who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been approached about it, but um, but you know, I would certainly never say no. So. Okay. Well, Mia, I will be the first to say I will produce the movie in the country <laughs> because I'm such a fan of your work. We are anticipating your next work. Please invite all our viewers out there to grab a copy of In the Country. Thank you so much. That's so wonderful to hear. It means a lot. All right. Well, please ask our Kababayans to grab, where can they get a copy of this if they don't know where? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, you can grab a copy of In the Country um, at, at your local Barnes & Noble. You can grab it um, if you prefer smaller independent bookstores you, and you don't know where one is close to you, um, visit IndieBound.org, and you can just type in your zip code and, and the closest uh, independent bookstores to you will come up and um, should be available there. Um, and, of course, you can always go online, Amazon.com, Powell.com, any one of the, uh, the e-retailers of books will, will carry it as well. All right. Thank you so much, Mia, for your time today. And thank you for allowing us to read excerpts of your book. Uh, we are very, very, very excited. You are uh, making waves not only in the Filipino community, but mainstream. We are here to support you. And please, when you come to L.A., you have to come visit us. I definitely will. I will be there in the spring, and I will definitely get in touch and um, and hopefully get to chat with you again. All right, maraming salamat, Mia Alvar. Remember, the book In the Country is out in bookstores. I highly suggest that you get a copy and you read it.